Hey everybody, John Toda here, your Rockstar Learning Evangelist here at eLearning Brothers, and I'm here to talk to you today about our new Rockstar Learning Platform. We are super excited about this because we just launched it and our team has been hard at work at bringing you what we feel is the best combination of a learning management system and a learning experience platform. So we're not one or the other. We looked at it and said, you need these learning management capabilities from your LMS and your learners want all the LXP capabilities from that learning experience platform. We combine them together into something that we think is really awesome, both for your learners and for all of you who have to manage the training. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start talking about some of our learning experience capabilities that really take this to another level. And we're gonna start here with our virtual ILT module. So that's over here on this events tab. When you click in here, you'll see for the first time, we now have a live calendar of events going on, managed inside of the Rockstar Learning Platform. So when we built our virtual ILT module, we said lots of people have had instructor-led training modules for many years. That's not what we were trying to deliver. Of course, we've got that. But we also know that today, more of these meetings are going on virtually than they are in a classroom. So we needed to develop something that could centralize all of these virtual meetings that are going on all across the board in different platforms. If you take a look here in the tile view, we're now centralizing meetings regardless of the platform. It could be a Zoom meeting, a GoToMeeting like you're seeing on screen right here. It could be a WebEx, Microsoft Teams, doesn't matter. The key is if there's learning context to these live events, which today there oftentimes is, we need to be able to centralize it to one location, regardless of the platform, give you the ability to put it inside of a larger learning context, slip it right inside a curriculum with your on-demand training, and most importantly, give you some confirmation code capability so that your end users can enter in the code and get credit for attending these live events. That's one of these things that no one really thought about when we had to move to this virtual world with all of these tools, Zoom, GoToMeeting, WebEx, they weren't designed to give you credit in a learning context for attending these meetings. They do a great job of making it easy for us all to meet virtually like that, but we need to add this extra layer so you can get credit for it. So let's take a quick look about how this works for your end users. I've added a couple meetings here. One's a Zoom meeting and one's a GoToMeeting. Um, I got a Rockstar Learning launch event coming up on February 2nd, so I can go and click on that. The meeting hasn't started yet, so I'm free to RSVP right here. Click there and RSVP. Instantly, I'm now on the attendee list, and I have this simple link that I can click to join that meeting when it comes up. Now, we know you're probably not gonna come back in here. Your learners are not gonna think to come to the Rockstar Learning Platform to attend the meeting. So, of course, this is gonna email them an invite email to their registered email address when they RSVP, and they'll be able to accept that right there and add it to their Outlook calendar, their Google calendar, whatever they might be using. So, we know that they're gonna access it potentially from that calendar, but we know we can centralize it and give them an easy to use calendar right here and if they want to, they can access from here. One of the other things you're gonna see over on the right side is that this meeting now occurs in the context of a learning curriculum. That's a big game changer for a lot of people because just because I am attending a Zoom meeting or a GoToMeeting, it might be the key to opening up the next steps in this learning program. So I can have a couple live meetings here. Once I attend them as the prerequisite, it opens up the next item in that on-demand curriculum. That's hugely important when we think about this from a learning perspective and delivering content at a distance with all of our remote workforces out there. So that's super cool. We centralized it. We've made it really easy to put it in the context of learning. And uh, now we're just gonna go back to that main screen where I can click on the events. I see everything up here on the calendar, flip over to the tile view. And now this is the event that's just ended. I wanted to bring this up because I talked about completion codes. Right here, I can enter in the pre-established completion code that the instructor gives out during the meeting. And now when I type in ELB 2020 here and submit that, boom, I've got credit on my transcript, consolidated with all of my other reporting on the other content that I've completed inside of this curriculum. But now this live event has been turned into a true learning event that I got credit for. 
So this is something we're really excited about. Get in here, start playing around with it today, centralizing meetings to one place like this and giving you the ability to get credit for it and to have it as part of something larger, like a full learning curriculum. This is what we're trying to strive for. We're excited to hear about it and all of the successes you're having with it. So definitely let us know and tune in for our next episode where we're gonna dive into boards.